Groovy. Welcome, everybody. This is another edition of Truth or Shenanigans, where we are doing our review of Gran Turismo 5. Today we have Itty Bitty. Hey. Rambo. What, what? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hug bombs, my bears. Hey. And Green Machine. What's up? All right, we're going to get right to it. We're going to start with Itty, our first statement for GT5. The six-year development time was well worth it. True uh, or shenanigans? Uh, I am um, saying shenanigans on this. I feel like they just put too much minutia in the game and took a little bit too much of the fun factor out of it. They could have done a little less a lot more quickly. Shenanigans. All right. And we applaud Itty. This is her first time back from her disastrous appearance last time. Where she I got notes this time. <laughs> 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 With short answers. <laughs> but never shorter than Hun. <laughs> anyway, Rambo, what's your take oh. on the six-year development time? I want to say shenanigans because uh, they still haven't followed through on their GT5 prologue where they said they were going to like bring in the cars that you got from there and there's too many li little problems like the co number of colors you can use you have to buy a new car to get color that you want to paint your old car um, you can't degrade your car to meet specific races and just a whole bunch of interface crap basically All right. Hug. and load times <laughs> Load time doesn't count. <laughs> Your mom doesn't count. <laughs> Alright, hug. I am also going to call shenanigans. <laughs> a six year development time for a game is just ridiculous. Especially with this, the way uh, GT5 turned out in the end. Uh, six years. Hell, I expect the goose that lays golden eggs in six years. <laughs> <laughs> but I certainly didn't get that. <laughs> All right, green. So, yeah. Well, I'm not changing anything up. I gotta go with shenanigans. If you spend uh, six years developing it, I'm expecting just a little bit more. I mean, I fly into a wall at a thousand miles an hour and just kind of bump off it. Where's the <laughs> huge damage or flipping, rolling over? And mm -hmm. the little, if there's smoke and stuff, it looks really cool, but everything behind it is pixelated. So just, mm -hmm. I expected a little more fine tuning. All right. Rambo, start off with the next uh, statement to you. Development support post launch has been strong. Truth or shenanigans? Uh, I'm going to say shenanigans on that one. Because, uh,. What the first the first update update was the 24th of November, and then the second update was the 26th of November. Third update was the 6th of December, and the fifth update fifth update after third um, was the 20th <laughs> of December. So I was so wondering I'm what state, happened to the fourth. Do they do they not know how to cut? count you know that, that that's just weird you know unfortunately with and uh pot calling the kettle black there no not a count but i do and like then, stats like, and details so that's good too <laughs> and the fact is they're updating like seasonal races which i'd rather them fix the online crap like where you don't get dropped from games or people leaving in the middle of the game so that like they don't get a win-loss taken away from them so yeah all right hugs um i'm actually gonna say truth on this one uh, they have fixed the major issues that they noticed right off the bat even though a like, six-year development you would think it would have six years to find those problems <laughs> <laughs> However, with that said, uh, they have added, uh, I guess, more longevity to it with the seasonal races and constantly making it fresh and new and fixing some problems with online, even though it's still not perfect. 
right? Green. Well, I'm going to have to say truth on this. I'm pretty much in line with Hugs there. Uh, I like the fact we saw some initial problems right with multiplayer right when we got in. Seems like they cleared most of those up with us not starting all over the place. They actually put us in the starting grid. That's nice. Uh, they, ch they did change it so we get some points uh, for racing a multiplayer so it doesn't feel completely like a waste of time. And I really like what they're doing with the seasonal events so far. They seem to be updating those pretty regularly and they've really made it more fun once I've kind of got through most of the rest of the game. Alright, Eddie? Um, well, yeah, I'm going to have to probably go more on the truth side of this. Um, you know, but I'm, I'm disappointed with the updates that they did have to do, you know, as mentioned before, you know, the seasonal events, giving money and experience um, for racing online races, you know, putting the online dealership on there. Those are, those are just things that should have been there in the first place. So it's kind of like, okay, great, thanks for fixing it, but once again, six years in development. Why weren't some? Why, why were these things after thoughts for them? It, it just makes no sense to me. I'm gonna say truth, <laughs> but it's like it's like truth with shenanigans right after it or something. I don't oh, know. Oh, oh, and, and as we learned oh, no. in our black mm -hmm. dot interview, mm -hmm. that is negative the worst five thing points you for can neutrality. Do. Well, oh, fine, you no. Can't go neutral. Boom. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, so that's the end of round one. Hey, hey, she's a woman. Truth, but I'm not I'm happy not about true. saying truth. <laughs> I was not just told that I couldn't happy. say shenanigans just afterwards. Oh, geez, you dig in a hole. Should have right. been in the black up. <laughs> Should have been in the black up. <laughs> so uh, after round one, we have hugs in first, green in second, Rambo third, and trailing badly now. <laughs> Itty in last place. <laughs> What? I know where you live. Well, here comes round Sexist. two. <laughs> Damn right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, this statement, the first one in round two, goes to Hugs. B spec mode is a great addition to the series. Truth or shenanigans? Oh. S to the H to the E to the nanigans. <laughs> B spec mode is boring as hell. <laughs> Who wants to sit there and watch today. a race for I just don't 60 think I'm minutes? Today. God, it's the most boring thing in the world. I'd rather <laughs> go. I'd rather go to work for free. <laughs> <laughs> That's just it. I'm done. It's, it's six years in development. And they put in B spec mode. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> We're gonna have to beat that out. This is G rated. Green, what's your take? <laughs> oh wow, I don't think you can top hugs on that, uh, but also have to go with the shenanigans. Come on, be spec. It's like, I find myself playing it while I'm eating dinner, because <laughs> it's, you just push one button. It's like, very boring, and it's kind of necessary to unlock some of the cars you need and get the money you need, so yeah, shenanigans on that one. Alright, Itty? Alright, I'm totally calling shenanigans. And on my notes, I wrote boring with three exclamation points. But since everybody else has said boring, I have to change up my answer a little bit. I'm, I'm going to change four my... Boring exclamation points? <laughs> four. I'm going to say, it's, it's more fun to sit down and watch like four hours of children's PBS television shows than it is to play Beast Bat. Okay. Um, it's... It, it's just more educational and more the the kids shows than playing beast back it's just what a joke yeah i kind of like those kids shows <laughs> i know right. same here. rambo yes, come on. <laughs> what's your take on beast um i want to say shenanigans uh first of all like the interface the user quality sucks because like you hit one button, you go, and I was sitting there trying to figure out how to actually look through my driver's eyes because it makes it more interesting because it's boring like everybody states. <laughs> but uh, there's no ability to do that. You only have four controls, four controls to even talk to your driver, which you don't need. But I, I just say speed up and then he wins with the Dodge Viper in level one. <laughs> 
<laughs> See, I don't even have a Dodge Viper or a good car for my guy to race in, so... Hey, hey, this is my time, woman. Oh, God, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you sounded dumb. And also, like... <laughs> you have been taking also, too much time. Don't worry, it is Also, drug. like, she has an if excuse. you pause it, you can't, you can't, like, restart right there. You have to completely exit out. There's no retry button. So, like, you have to exit out, go into the long load screens just to start another race. You gotta wait another five minutes just on load screens, so. Shenanigans. Alright, right, Green, everybody. our last statement in round two. Gran Turismo 5 is the ultimate racing game. Racing game. Ah, I gotta say, shenanigans. It is the ultimate driving simulator. Oh. Because while you're driving, it's fine, but while you're actually racing, not that great, and the crashing, come on, that's part of it, and that they did a horrible job. So if you're just driving on a country road, yeah, that's great, but it doesn't have the whole package. All right, Itty? Yeah, I'm calling shenanigans on this, too. Um, it, it's uh, kind of like what Green said, you know, it's fine, like, when you're just driving and kind of goofing around and stuff, but like as a racing game, um, because it's it's not. God, it's just everything. It, there's so many little things that are just so irritating, and then it, it keeps popping back up in your head. They took six years to do this, so yeah, shenanigans. All right, Rambo. Shenanigans. GT5 is a really huge car game with. Uh, thousand cars, a few races, no rally races, no drag strips or drift events. Mm -hmm. If you don't race online, don't buy it. Um, also like whenever you're driving the AI can get away with everything, but if you touch the grass, you spin out like in <laughs> card events or whatnot. So mm -hmm. yeah, shenanigans. All right, and hugs. Final word on GT5 is the ultimate racing game. Shenanigans. <laughs> um, first off, it's not even a game. It's a simulation. <laughs> um, <laughs> and what I mean by that is a game is something anybody can pick up and have fun with. Um, a six-year-old is not going to pick this up and have fun driving. Well, maybe they will, but an 86-year-old ain't going to have fun driving this. <laughs> game. <laughs> wouldn't know how to put it in the game. <laughs> Driving in the game. <laughs> they probably wouldn't even know how to load the game. But that's beside the point. They wouldn't um, be able to get through the a, 10 million A game million is something screens. that you're going to have fun with. It's GT5 is more for hardcore racing fans, not just anybody. And that's my final word. Alright. At the end of round two, we have a leader, and that is Hugs. And in second place, and entering the final round with Hugs, is Green. For his first bum, attempt, bum, he actually bum. did pretty good. Rambo is Wall very, hacking. very close, uh, and Itty's not close at all. So that just kind of gives you a perspective. <laughs> <laughs> it's she's well, a girl, I've been on my it? deathbed for like the last four days, so all right. and well, I'm heavily drugged I'd, right now. My medication. My medication. Let's, have the, let's have the drugged woman mute herself so she doesn't interrupt <laughs> people anymore. Alright. I'm or die on us. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Final round between Hugs and Green. Here we go. First statement is to Hugs. NASCAR and kart racing was implemented well in Gran Turismo 5. Truth or shenanigans? Oh, that is totally shenanigans. One... One bonus event for karting in NASCAR is not even implementing those damn series into the game. Um, they could have done a lot better job with both of those. Even just adding a few more races would have been a lot better. Alright, Green? Yeah, I'm going to have to go with shenanigans also. Uh, looked like the most of the NASCAR and the karting was both in just special events or whatever that was is kind of a side part of the whole game. There is some NASCAR racing in A-Spec once you get a lot further ahead, but it's extremely hard. And they could have done a lot more with it to add those. The karting's a lot of fun, but you just don't get to play it much. 
Alright, good argument, but I heard Hug say the same thing first, so he's getting the point. <laughs> Boom, yeah. round. Green, this one's for you. The user interface is very well done. I'm going to have to go with shenanigans on that one. Um, I like how the main screen is kind of laid out, but after that, it kind of goes downhill. Uh, the loading times obviously kind of an issue with for me takes a long time also if you've completed some events like say you're an a spec and you've completed all of the beginner it doesn't let you know that you've completed all of the beginner series you have to go into that menu first and then look through so I think they could have done a little bit better job and made a lot smoother all right hugs I'm gonna say truth just because they spent six years on this game. I'm surprised that the menu isn't more messed up than it already is. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can figure yourself around the menu and you're not totally lost. Because I'm sure that's probably one of the first things they built. Six years later, they, I'm sure they probably forgot about it. And that's cool, as long as they put out the game for us. Well, alright. I'm giving that one to Green, and I'm just shocked that no one uh, talked about how long it took uh, to explain to people how to join a multiplayer room, and how much explanation <laughs> was needed for most people. The yellow dot oh, yeah. above the coffee cup is not quite intuitive, I would say. But anyway, final round. <laughs> Last statement. Hugs. This one's for you. Leveling your A spec and B spec are fun and enjoyable in Gran Turismo 5. I'm gonna say shenanigans. Um, in the very beginning, it was fun. Uh, however, once you've hit past like level 10, it takes about 400 races to get a percentage of a bar increase. <laughs> Especially once you hit 20, it takes about 46 days just to get to 21. And that's racing every day. It's just ridiculous how much you need to just level up one, and how little experience points you get for. You know, spending an hour on the track racing in circles mindlessly. All right, Green. Um, I'm actually going to go with uh, Truth on this one because it was a little hard starting out because you don't have much money, but that's kind of expected. And then I don't know. For me, I really got into a groove there where I found a couple cars where I could get some races, and then I'd win more cars that would help me with the next races. So I had a lot of fun. And then just as it was starting to get hard near the end of A-Spec, uh, they brought in the, the um, seasonal events, and those have been a lot of fun, and they help you level, too, so I'm going to say it's fun. Alright, I'm giving that one to Green. I like ending on a positive note. GT5 still looks like a preeminent racer to me, so I'm giving that one to Green. Green, you got 30 seconds, and give us our, your rating for Gran Turismo 5. All right. If you look at their six-year development time and some of the little flaws with the game, it's very disappointing to me. But all around, I think the game is a lot of fun. I have tons of fun racing in it. I love buying the cars, souping them up, trying different things. I think they did a good job. The six years, I think they should have done more. So out of 100, I'm going to go with about 80. 80. All right. There we go. Congratulations, Green. Well done for your first time and your first win. Um, hopefully, it will Fuck be this car. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, that's totally an inside joke that no one will get, but that's awesome, Hugs. <laughs> All right. I'd like to, to say thank you from everybody, all our sinners here, to all our sinners watching, and any of those who... Uh, are not in our clan and enjoying the video. Uh, take care, enjoy yourself, and we'll see you online. Hail to the king, baby. Come get some.